Hey YouTube, we're doing a shop day today on Brandon's uh, 2019 General that he picked up last weekend, as you probably saw the video from earlier this week. But we're doing a complete fluid dump. Got one thing on EGL in there already. Another jug going in. But no one ever has one of these little pumpers. It takes a little longer, but it just saves you the mess. It's awesome. And then we threw in two ounces of Hunter Works gear butter. We drained the oil. There was nothing on the plug. So for 3,600 miles, I was greatly pleased. Um, oil looked really good. Um, what else we're doing here? Engine and oil. Got a new Hunter Works belt. We're going to throw on that bad boy. Got the primary off already here, but we're just waiting to do that. Brandon's taking all the intake stuff off. Bell case, we've got a complete snorkel kit. We're gonna throw on it. So that's gonna be a, a joy to do. Get the oil change kit for the engine. Let's see. Front diff fluid, spark plugs are changed. I don't know what else we were gonna do to this thing. I think that was about it. Oh! I got the uh, wheel bearing greasing tool in my razor here. I brought it over from my house. There we go. That bad boy. We'll pop every corner, every tire off and add some grease to the wheel bearings. Guarantee they were never done. So, and yeah. But as you can see, I mean, it's pretty clean, pretty clean machine so far. So yeah. I'm gonna keep popping here. We just popped the primary off, and this is the old belt. Yeah, that ain't good for business. Some of the crogs are wore off right there. That would make her a little jerky, but who knows? Could be the original belt for 3,600 miles. Definitely could be, definitely could be changed. So we'll throw this Hunter Works on here. It's got Brandon plugging in his air compressor. We'll blow that thing out, the primary, before we stick her on. In the meantime, I'm gonna drop the engine oil. Let's cross your fingers on that. All right, just drain the engine oil. Wasn't too bad. Getting out of filter on one of these generals, you gotta go from the right-hand side. Reach all the way across to grab that oil. So, Brandon's up front here. We just drained the front diff. To be honest with you, that front diff didn't even need to be drained, I don't think. It was so clean, nothing on the magnet, on the drain plug. This is like my first person I ever ran or went with and bought a used machine, so I was kind of nervous since he asked me to go with him to Iowa last weekend. So I'm happy that these fluids are all clean. Right, Brandon? Yep. Yep, yep. New belt is on. Pop the primary off. Now what we do is we stick the belt around the secondary and then fish the primary into the belt and then you got to kind of use some muscle to get it back on the crankshaft. But that's the easiest way to change a belt if you have a puller. Obviously everybody knows what a puller is, I don't know where I do with it. What do we do with the puller? Oh, it's just a big fancy $60 bolt. Uh, yeah. Everybody knows what a puller is. so. But yeah, we're gonna keep going here. Next step is to, uh, ah, that big old bolt. Works on everything. Next step is go to install the snorkel kit, but I gotta bug out of here for an hour and I will be back. All right, we got all the pieces laid out. Actually, Brandon got all the pieces laid out. Disconnected everything. You can see the CVT intake and air intake right there. It's got intake number one kind of snorkeled up already. Doing intake number two right now. It actually looks like it ain't gonna be too bad. Yeah. I think we're gonna remove that plastic stuff that goes underneath the console there. I might work on that just for shits and giggles because it's bothered me. But step by step instructions. It is just. Yeah, I can love it. Get this thing snorkel out and 
get them drunk a few weeks from now at our Tiger Den ride and make them go deep. So, yeah, good thing I got extra heat tape. We're freaking getting her done here. Full CBT intakes down. I think we're gonna have to shave some of the box off because when the box comes down right here, it's gonna hit that. Where we will. You know, Brand's working on the CBT. Oh, you can't see that. It goes in underneath the airbox here and then comes out right here. This was. Yeah, yeah, there it is. On Working on that piece right now. That was all but yeah, it's coming together. No one was and here we go, got the fuel tank snorkeled. Fucked up. Transmission, yeah, front diff. Yeah. Ran the front diff. Ran the front diff tube all the way underneath this thing. Hey, your guy is garbage. Keeping keeping it away from fucking you know, right here. Keep it away from the heat source. This is the transmission. This is the front diff. Ran him right up this one. Brand cut a little hole. He's gonna get some weather stripping to go around here just to decorate it up a little bit. The frog skin goes in with hey, adhesive. New air filter. Great. We're good to go. We're ready to put the box back on. Well, I think we're pretty much done here. You're gonna cut all that off. These little these little things. You gotta cut three of them off. But then these snorkels are actually pretty decently stiff already. Ooh, I should tell Brand to blow all that out. That shit'll start on fire if it gets on the exhaust. Yep. It's down. Oh. Okay, perfect. Just gotta stick his little trim piece in here. We're done. Might as well start it up and make sure it has oil pressure after the oil change. I haven't done that yet.